He has a gun. <gasps> it got to you, didn't it? You, you son of a bitch! Put the gun down. I told man. you not to listen. Whoa, whoa, Give me the whoa! Bottle. Just, just let me take the bottle. Just huh? take it easy, buddy. Don't do anything stupid. We're just trying to find a way out of here. That's it's all. It's got to you, but I won't let it get to me. No, not this time. Just put that down and let's talk this out, okay? Just you and me. We'll figure all this out. Uh, Holy shit! Uh, oh, uh, oh uh, man! No. Ah, this one got away from me earlier. Second chances are glorious, are they not? What? What the hell are you? Vampire, Nosferatu, etc., etc., blah, blah. Do I need to go on? You. I knew it. You've been the one. Killing those people with holes in their neck. Of course. What, did you think it was Bela? Yeah. <laughs> looks like a vampire. I hoped I planted a seed of doubt about him in your brain. He has the look, am I right? Yeah. I guess that snack from the vending machine just wasn't going to do it for you, huh? Not so much, but thanks anyway. Pretending this whole time? Why? Is keeping me oh. alive just part of oh, your sick clear. joke? Well, even someone like me needs help from humans on occasion. In this case, having you find the missing journal pages. You could have found those pages yourself. Why use me? Because you're just so good at it. Besides, playing the fragile, helpless little girl has been fun for me. What do you need the pages for? How can they help something like you? Because the journal, Wilson, holds the key. The key to freeing me from this wretched curse. What? To stop being a blood-sucking little bitch? <laughs> no, Wilson. Give up immortality and power? Are you stupid? But I would give anything to cease being trapped in this eight-year-old body that has lived for more than 200 years. The journal has all the answers I seek. If you're going to kill me, hurry up and get it over with. I don't have time for your sob story. If I wanted you dead, Wilson, believe me, it would have happened by now. Let's help each other. You find the rest of the pages, and I'll protect you from the possessions and other creatures roaming the hospital. We both need the journal to be whole again. Our goal is the what? same. No, Lucy. Our goals are not the same. There's no way I'm helping you with any part of this. Got it? Don't act like a damn child, Wilson. Okay, look. I promise not to eat you or any of your friends. Except maybe Elsa. She's annoying, don't you think? No <laughs> means no. Fuck off. Very well. I'll find the pages myself. Oh, no. I don't need you anymore. Don't make me hurt you, Lucy. Oh, God. Please. I got Stay a ruler. Back. I got a ruler. It didn't have to be rulers. this way, Wilson. Remember that as I slowly drain the life out of you. No. God. Wait, can I make a... Um... Oh, Jesus Christ! Um, um, what's this? A level? Holy shit! Ah! Okay, that didn't work. Okay. That, alright, here we go. <laughs> There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Wow, real nice throw. Ah! Can I use my heart? Oh god, come on. Can't use the heart, can't use this. How's this for a snack? No! What? Oh! <laughs> okay. I didn't realize what I did. You idiot. Uh, God. Plagued in darkness. Hmm. Lucy Holmes, picture of innocence, trapped in the nightmare hospital that has claimed the lives of almost all its inhabitants. How is it possible she has survived the twisted darkness? Was it the caring aid of the adults around her? Strangers willing to throw themselves between her and the honor, the horrors that protect someone so young? 
The chaos of the night and the nightmares in the hospital made it easier to believe she was separated from her father. Just another person trapped in the wrong place at the wrong time. But in fact, Lucy Holmes was the invited guest of Dr. Arthur Harcourt, a man with whom she had no blood relation, a man who was an enigma in his own right, possibly having caused the chaos in the hospital. This is a lot to read. Look at all this. Yep, yeah, she's badass. She's a vampire. That other guy's a werewolf. You don't look so good. My arm doesn't look so good. What's that sound? Okay. So anytime I see her, it's gotta make a wood cross. <laughs> 